Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to demonstrate you how you can display these patterns on console. Before starting, you can note my information. You can follow or subscribe my YouTube channel by this link that is youtube.com slash Sanjay Gupta underscore tech school. You can download my Android app that is tech image based on programming which is available on Google Play. Now coming on to the topic, for demonstration I have imp I have included a header file that is stdio.h. Inside main three variables are declared i, j and n. Printf will display this message on console and the number of rows will be received inside n using scanf. Then I have implemented this code in front of you. So first I am going to display first pattern. So for that purpose I have I have implemented this uh, loop which is starting from 1 and it will repeat n times then for printing columns I have implemented second loop which is uh, starting from 1 and it depends upon the value of i so it repeats i time then if and else conditions are available so here in this first pattern you can see odd rows are starting from 1 and even rows are starting from 0 so here if condition is available which is checking value of i so if i is completely divisible by 2 then it will display even rows otherwise else will be printing odd rows now if we check even rows like this row here it is starting from 0 and then it will print 1 so odd positions are printing 0 and even positions are printing 1 so here j is divided by 2 if it is uh, completely divisible then it will print 1 that is for even position and if it is not divisible by 2 then it will print 0 that is for odd, odd positions so with this way this if will print all even rows uh, by printing 0 1 0 1 combination now for odd rows you can see uh, for odd, po odd positions 1 should be printed and for even positions 0 should be printed so here I have copied this condition and I have changed uh, printf uh, first it is printing 0 and then 1. So if this condition is true then it will print 0 otherwise it will print 1. So this way I have implemented this code so that first pattern can be displayed. You can see the output it is equivalent to first pattern. Now you can compare both the patterns both are same. Now if you want to print its reverse then you have to change only first loop. I have just changed first loop. By changing it this reverse pattern will be displayed on console. Again I am executing this code. You can compare the output. It is printing the same pattern at, as it is available here. So odd rows are starting from 1 and even rows are starting from 0. So friends this way you can implement both the patterns with the help of this code. If you want to watch more programming related videos you can follow my youtube channel that is uh, uh, youtube.com slash Sanjay Gupta underscore tech school. You can download my android app tech based on programming which is available on google play. Thank you for watching this video.